Hey everyone, I'm here bringing you another video on Dragon Ball Daima. This is the episode 2 review entitled Glorio. So with that, if you're new to my channel, like, subscribe, comment below, do all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and dive right in. So I will be going through the entire episode here. And if you don't want to hear the storyline or the plot lines uh, or the details of this episode, go watch it first, then come back and I'll give you my thoughts on the episode. Um, but I'm not sure still, I'm not going to do this every single week. Uh, it is Friday morning. It's actually, uh, was good timing for me to go ahead and do this. So I'll try to continue to do these, uh, as long as I have the ability to do so. A lot of people also have asked me like, where am I watching this? It's very easy. Just, you know, go on the crunchy roll, like pretty much all the animes are and, uh, go ahead and watch it there. It is subtitled. I believe it drops right after it drops in Japan. So the time frame of, of when this actually is provided for you is very quick. Uh, and then, of course, Netflix, where should be getting that, the dub version of that, um, I think from a month from now, right? So something of that nature. I don't know the exact time. But anyway, yeah, we get a nice, good quality subtitled version on Crunchyroll. So go ahead and check that out. I am not sponsored, by the way. So, all right, let's dive into the details here. Uh, I'll quickly go over the main points of the episode. Really, I just want to quickly say this episode is definitely more of a plot design, uh, laying out the rules, a lot of exposition on this. Not much action at all. Um, we get a lot of nostalgia slash setting up the table for everything and it seems like this the show is is in a mix of nostalgia and and setting up this new uh quest here and it does also seem very younger oriented not really designed uh to be overly adult right it's uh, still a kid show um so it seems like they were wanting to bring a younger um, younger viewers into Dragon Ball, and this is kind of their way of doing it. Um, so this, the show starts off, or this episode starts off, and it seems like it's, it is going to start off continuously like this, and it's a little different from the first episode, is that it's going to do a little recap here. It's, it's you know, um, <laughs> you know, last week on Dragon Ball Daima. Um, so they really just not really focus on the entire last week, just the end of it. And it starts off with, you know, Goma, you know, yelling at Shenron, going, hey, we're supposed to get three wishes. Uh, but a little uh, new information is uh, it's only for regular customers they get three wishes. A another kind of retcon here, right? Did, did <laughs> I, I thought three wishes was always the case, but uh, um, anyway, so yeah, it says only for only for uh, regular customers, first timers, unknown first timers only get one wish. Um, anyway, uh, so go you know going into the episode in of itself then we get uh the 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 viewpoint of oops i gotta continue to pause all this um the viewpoint of like krillin the first person to notice hey what's going on everyone has grown small and then uh, we see just like the trailer in itself all all the characters that were involved in the majin buu saga or, or in the defeat of majin buu uh, has turned young. Everyone else uh, does stay the same, but they're also their memories uh, stay stay the same as well. So then we get to see the opening, which is great. I think the theme song is fantastic, and just the look of the show is very solid here. Um, and then we go into the episode in of itself, and Goma's just really really pissed off at Neva. Neva's like, hey, you know what? Hey, I want another wish. You know, go get. You know, go summon the. Uh, uh, the dragon again and um neva's like no i can't do that even i i have limitations on my power which is good because he seems very very op one of the things that you then happens is pretty pretty crummy is that they kidnap baby dende now dende in of itself i thought dende was older at this point in time right i thought he was old enough not to become a baby because what they said was what about the young kids what do we do with those individuals who are already young they say oh go, go ahead and turn them into babies I think like Gohan and Dende are the same age and Gohan we see kind of in the future and in, in the trailers is that he didn't turn into a baby but Dende did so you know what continuity and 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 and, <laughs> and plot points for uh for Dragon Ball and his in its in its history has always been a little muddled <laughs> on this so uh, so they they kidnap poor Dende, and then you also get the view. You, know, you get to see young Mister Popo, which is awesome. 
Um, and then they take off. So, so a lot of the rest of the episode is just um, our main characters, our you know, individ- you know our heroes and Earth uh, dealing with turning young. Another <laughs> issue here, I guess I'm just pointing out some of the issues of the of the episode, is. Goten and Trunks turns into babies, but they they didn't they weren't wearing this stuff beforehand. Everyone else is still wearing the same clothes that they were when they were adults, just kind of shrunken. <laughs> they, you know, Trunks wasn't wearing a baby cap before he turned into a, or or a onesie, right? So anyway, and then have diapers on too. So I I don't know. The wish was very very interesting uh in terms of that and uh then you have you know mr satan looking young but we've seen all this in the previews and and the viewpoints of these uh characters on here one of the things that we also find out quickly is uh each each individual has a hard time adjusting to their smaller stature so their mini stature here so they do have to relearn how to fly and fight etc etc uh the staff people of course did not get uh changed because they weren't a part of the Majin Buu saga or the Majin Buu defeat um and that's pretty much it then they go hey you know what we have to go to the lookout something's happened over there and then they go to the lookout and then Mr. Popo um explains all what happens you know the kidnappers from the demon realm a lot of information drops from knowing this right is Supreme Kai all you know never talked about his younger brother um Kapi- <laughs> Capito <laughs> turns into Uber for this whole entire episode, which is actually kind of funny. Uh, and then Piccolo knows who Neva is. Neva, I guess, is a mythical legend, I would say, um, that said, hey, that he, he stayed in the demon. He was the sole person who stayed in the demon realm to protect the, um, the Dragon Balls there. So um, Namekians know of Neva. All right. So it's not nothing of a surprise there. So. Uh, anyway, they uh, try to figure out okay how to get to the demon realm, save Dende, etc., etc. Uh, old spaceship. Uh, they say, hey, let's go get Boma to fix it. Boma could fix anything. Um, <laughs> Goku's trying to f- learn how to fly, or, or Piccolo gives gives Goku a little a little grief of you know, hey, you don't control your body yet. Piccolo tries to fly, he couldn't fly. So that's a little bit of, of just a quick little trope there. Um, I don't think I mentioned this, but uh, Bulma got really excited about being young again. So we know in the future she makes these wishes, uh, these you know adjustments to her age. So I think this is probably the the antithesis of where this all started in in her um, in her journey to become young or stay young. Uh, we move quickly through this. Two days later, they're still trying to fix the ship. Bulma says it's going to take me ten days to fix the ship here. And uh, you see Goku trying to train and fight here. He realizes, hey, I can't reach. So uh, since my depth perception is off, I need to go get my power pole. So they, you know, he chose to try to find the power pole. Oh, (laughs) this is an interesting point here. Everybody is, so is everybody with pointy ears, this is Vegeta, I think Vegeta's saying this, uh, is everybody with pointy ears from the demon realm? And Supreme Kai says, yeah, pretty much. So we have to look back on all the character designs in Dragon Ball and says, okay, who has pointy ears? And they're considered from the demon realm. Okay, that's, that's very, very interesting there. Um, again, Boma's you know, fixing everything. <laughs> Capito is uh, the Uber for this episode. Uber and Uber Eats. And uh, just it's kind of funny uh, on that end. Um, so Goku looks for the power pole, says, hey, you know what? Uh, I lent it to Master Roshi. Master Roshi says, I don't even remember where I put it. And the little humor here is he puts it, he uh, actually kept it as uh, doing his laundry. So Goku's old power pole was a laundry hang, <laughs> hanging pole here. Um, and it was pretty funny. It was pretty funny. So uh, moving along here again, nothing, not much else really happened a lot of just exposition the rules laying out and everything um we find out okay great they're trying to continue to fix the ship here to get to uh go save dende and then uh, glorio arrives so glorio comes into the spaceship here and um 
I, I, this one I, I was very like, kind of confused on. So Glorio said, I was ordered here from my king from the third demon world. Not third demon realm, because I, I think we initially got this in for, you know, got this in our mind that the demon realm was, was a realm with all 12 universes connected to it. But now they have this third demon world. So is there 12 demon worlds and then one demon realm? Or is there worlds within the realm? Uh, a little get confused on on all that. So so Glorio says, hey, you know what? I have this secret mission. I can't tell you about it, but you know we'll we'll go ahead and help you um, save Dende. Um, so what happens is uh, oh they they mention Goma and Supreme Kai is very you know f- scared of Goma. He's like he's very powerful and very crafty, so we got to watch out for Goma. Uh, and they said, yeah, we'll go ahead and help you save Dende, go to the demon realm and save Dende. Uh, but, uh, Gloria also has a secret, secret mission in, in line here. So, uh, so they go ahead and take Supreme Kai and Goku because the spaceship only can hold three people and, uh, Vegeta, Kabito, Piccolo, and Mr. Popo all stay behind, but Vegeta wants to go. So they do have to wait until Bulma fixes the ship. Boma does check out the Glorial ship, says, okay, I'll get this done pretty soon. So, yeah, uh, that is basically what happened in the um, in the show. Again, not much technically happened, so it was just more exposition and um, uh, more exposition and kind of laying out the plot line. I wouldn't call it a filler episode because we needed all this information to understand what's going to be happening, uh, but really not much technically happened. Again, everything looks great, uh, but very quick, simple episode, uh, and we kind of know what's what's happening. We got to go save Dende. I'm guessing uh, Glorio, uh, we're going to meet up with Fanzi, which possibly is the king they just called it a king just to kind of throw us off a little bit or or you know should be the king of the demon realm or something i, I again i uh king or queen of the demon realm i'm not too sure about that so this other secret mission you know when vegeta and piccolo probably come 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 to the demon realm what's going to happen there so interesting we just got to see what's going to happen in here again episode two uh, then of course ends and we see the outro which outro is very cute as well but that's pretty much about it in terms of the episode. I think overall, uh, again, it's a mixture of nostalgia, a new plot, new story. Um, but they also need to make sure it is congruent with you know Super and the following movies, and not make sure they retcon that much stuff because <laughs> Dragon Ball just does that. And maybe they just do that just to. Uh, annoy us all as viewers but uh because dragon ball just is that kind of show so anyway let me know what you guys think i, I gave this from the first episode i gave it more like a 8.5 this is more like a 7 6.5 just because not really much happened except for the exposition and the plots uh laying out all the plots so with that let me know for you guys who watched the episode what you guys ended up thinking and if you're new to my channel like subscribe do all that good stuff thank you all for watching Keep on diamonding. Yeah, I shouldn't say that. Just I'll see you guys next time. Later.